mic on? I think it is. What's up? Ian, you are muted. Why did ever? I never do this to you. They can't hear you. I never do this to anyone. I never do this to anyone. But for some reason, when I stream, immediately everyone goes, when well, should we talk? They do the joke of like, oh, when should I talk? Not yet. Not until I introduce you. Ian Gibson. Shut up. I have not unmuted you. Hello, everyone. It's me, ya boy, Will. As all, as Mason Optic put it, the sexy boys. Or sexy boy and Ian. Ian, I have not unmuted you yet. Stop telling me about your rash. Joining me tonight is Ian Gibson. You're unmuted now. Oh, now you don't want to talk. Hey, just let me know when I'm unmuted. You're I can unmuted. Introduce myself. You son of a biscuit. Right now? <laughs> no, no, put me back on mute. I'm not ready yet. I hate this. Guys. <laughs> oh. Hi, Meso. Oh, I'm going to show off my... I got a Raspberry Pi case for my four. Pretty dope. It's got a little fan. Uh, I really wish I could see it. I wish you could see it too. Maybe you should go to subpixel.com slash twitch. <laughs> I mean, twitch.tv slash subpixel. And you, you can see I it. I do have good internet. I can do that. I hate you so much. You're killing everything today. Uh, yeah, okay. Nice. So there's that. I don't know what else to do. Anyways, we're playing Halo Reach today because Halo Reach came out on the PC today. And that is a word combination I never thought I would ever say. That's the wrong thing I just transitioned to. Apologies. Hey, you know this, uh, there we go. this stream border? It's not bad. Meso, Meso, let us know what you think of the new stream border. Uh, the stream border I invented. Um, I'm, not, also, I'm not crazy about it, but I do like it. If that makes sense. Uh, let me unmute desktop. <laughs> um, so I got a new graphics card. Town. So hopefully everything should look good. If it doesn't, let me know. Also, whoever's watching, let me know. I'm streaming out at 60 frames per second. It should be 60 frames per second for you guys. If it's not, let me know, because then I have to change something. So I can tell you right now that YouTube is at least presenting a 1080-60 option. Okay. Cool. Uh, Ian and I are going to start this. Let me know how it looks. I'm watching the frames here. Got a new graphics card. Really just wanted to test it out, see how it does. I figured nothing like PC game. Really stress out my machine. Stress out my machine. So. Oh, uh, Splatoon. Uh, I have not played the new Pokemon. I'm not sure if I'm going to. I'm kind of in a rut right now where I have a bunch of games to play, but I don't really want to play any of them. Yeah. So... I think I think it's in my backlog. Definitely in my backlog. But Splat Town, I know you were excited for it. I know you're probably playing it. Tell us how it is. Yeah, we did talk ex uh, on one of the streams. We talked about it a bunch. I think it was one of the Mud Runners. But Ian was not here for that. So please enlighten him. Uh, Ian, you made me think. If I if someone asked me, they're like, pick a Pokemon game to play right now. Like this is the Pokemon game you're gonna play. I'd probably mm -hmm. pick like Blue or Silver. Something That's like that. That's the wrong answer. I wouldn't play the new one. I have not played a lot of Pokemon games, but I'll tell you this. They have made some advancements on the new Pokemon that make it a lot easier. One of them is XP Share. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, so I mean, XP Share that's was where... in the original, but not with every no. single one. No, I don't think it was. I think you you had to switch the Pokemon into the current battle in order for it to get any sort Right, of right, but it was... Uh, once they had it, the change in XP Share is... Everyone gets it now versus uh, Pokemon had to hold the item. Yeah, yeah in which like is red and not in. Uh, but that's my point. I is that that's, that's, a, that's a positive change? And I think now, in the new one, if I'm not mistaken, it's across the entire party. You don't even have to switch them into the current battle. Yeah. Um, so it's it's definitely they've made a lot of improvements. Can we skip Scott, skip skip Scott skins? Um. I'm no, wearing I it for pause. the. Oh no, really? 
I could earlier when I tested Contact today, but maybe I just Red can't Relay skip this. Lost last night. Maybe it's because there's two All of us. Maybe. At 2600 hours. Um, with trooper fire team. Yeah, I just, I can't. I don't like the graphics. And now you're sending us. The Office of Naval the... Intelligence believes deployment oh, of the well, team is yeah, a but it's, it's less about the graphics and more about the resources. gameplay, which is pretty good. Yeah. Um, Commander. But yeah, I would say go as fresh so that's as possible. Only number six. So either Sword and Shield or Cat. Sun Moon. He read his file. Only the parts that weren't covered in black. Ink. Although I wasn't crazy about Sun Moon. Yeah, I have a copy of Silver sitting sorry. in a box. Only thinks it might be X a local insurrection. I played like half ago, of Blue. I really enjoyed a similar it. job on Harmony. Hit a relay to take out our eyes and ears. Then actually, um, the Let's Go Pikachu. That cannot happen. Let's Go here. Eevee were pretty good. We just do that. Yeah. They, 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 they're not as terrible as you would expect. One. Sir, but they're, done. uh, then I'll see you on the other side. They're nice refreshes oh, no. of red and blue. Lieutenant <clears> Commander, right. sir. I'm Carter. Yeah. Noble team's leader. That's Cat, Noble, team Noble team. Two, me and George, four and, and they, they were the first to have the uh, Pokemon visible in the overworld. Out in the wild, not gonna lie to you, so you kind of knew who you were getting into a tussle with. The rest which of the is awesome. squad would rather leave unfilled. Oh, Zach says he's sorry. He's just happy to have noble back yeah, we're sorry. Yeah, I'm not sorry, Zach. Zach. Not sorry. Just one thing I've seen your file. I gotta Even turn the game down. <laughs> didn't want me to. I'm glad to have Excuse me, I'm set. sick over here. But we're a sick, team. buddy. That lone yeah, I think it's all the travel. Stays behind. Clear. Got it. I gotta stop looking for maps. Yeah, I, every weeks. day I get to the subway, lick the floor, and then I'm immune from everything for that day. Yeah. So Splatoon, I'm I'm right there with you, except my first, the first Pokemon I ever played more than like 20 minutes of was uh, Pokemon Y of the of the XY 3DS Why? releases. And then I played Sun, and then I played, and I haven't played Sword and Shield. So I'm kind of with you. I'm, I'm a newer. Oh, you know why we Pokemon couldn't skip fan. that, Ian? Because that was technically an, a mission. That's disgusting. Halo always does that. Like the first mission of Halo One We're looking at a down is like the cutscene stuff. I think. We're gonna I think introduce it's Halo ourselves one. to whoever. Yeah, I can skip oh, this I one. Me too. I skipped it. Likely, so keep your oh, did you do that? Yes, yeah, makes sense. I think I did that. I thought I just did it really fast with my mind. You're gonna distress beacon. The okay, cool so thing you... is, you can adjust the FOV in this game. Yeah, I put it at 90. What did you put it at? I bumped it up to 80, but it just was so weird to me. Yeah, that you I, could adjust that. Most games that let me do that, I put it to 90, but I've played so much Halo, I just didn't, couldn't comprehend having like PC settings, you know? Yeah. Um, you played this originally, right? Or this is this is your very first time playing the game. Is no, right? I, I played this a lot originally. So you're excited to play through it for the first time then? On the PC, yes. Let's go, six. Yeah. So, so going into this completely blind, what are you expecting from this game? I expect this game to be really good, and to have interesting things to say about the Halo universe and the backstory to the first Halo game. I'm just expecting that. You're just expecting that. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was a little bit of a. I'm also expecting all of these characters to die. Oh, that, they would never do that, though. Yeah, they would. But I'm expecting. Are you? Are you kidding? Like hitches? No. It's kind of weird. Oh god, Are give you? me past this. Yeah, it was weird. It's like when the dialogue kicked in, like I felt like I was going through a like a trigger volume. It would hitch a little bit. Um, I so I what, with my new graphics card, it came with a code for the new Call of Duty, and I fired it up and. I played for like 15 minutes because I just want to see how it looked. And my oh, graphics card judge. smelled a little hot because I was thinking it was the first time I was actually like firing oh. it up. Yeah. And I could smell, it wasn't like, it was slightly plasticky, but it was more like it was burning the dust that was in my computer. <laughs> oh, I was like, yeah. oh crap. So I, I played a little bit. Um, but what I've seen of it, sounds like fun. I kind of want to get into the multiplayer a little bit. I, I, I'm pretty sure the multiplayer is going to be the same, like Kawadunga crap, but the single player looks pretty good. Shoot him. Just do it. Wow. Hey, I did it. Hey, you died. You took a lot of bullets. Watch this. Wow. Oh, they killed right? me because of you. Good.
Oh, we restart? <laughs> cool. Uh, okay, you could go in. I gotta change. I'm gonna adjust my settings a little bit because yeah. I'm, I'm hitching. I'm Hitchin. Christopher Hitching over here. That was. I don't know if people joke. on stream saw that, but that was definitely not supposed to happen. On your knees now. The entire building just glowed. Look at them. Ask them what they're doing here. I am running this at 4K, which could be an issue. Yeah, it seems like the 60 frames is keeping up. It's using OBS is using 55% of my CPU, but that's pretty good. 60 frames, it seems to be pretty good. I'm excited. It's it's weird how quickly my so before I bought this graphics card, I was very much like, oh, you know what? I'll buy this game on my Xbox One X, play it on there, blah 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 blah. And then as soon as I bought this card, I'm like, what amazing games can I play on this? Yeah, 100% though. I think I might fire up Witcher 3. Oh, yeah. Finally play it. Max out. Um, I've been playing some Disco Elysium. Speaking of games. How is, how is that? Is that a um, game, right? Yeah, I'm about literally probably under an hour in. But it's been really fun. It's The writing's really good, and the way they... Like I, I praised uh, as much as much as I played Divinity: Original Sin 2 for, uh, like the closest I've ever felt to playing Dungeons and Dragons as a video game, and uh, Disco Elysium is a lot closer to that because it does passive checks but lets you know about them, and it also like when you do a check and fail it, it like will tell you that you're failing it. Or succeeding, mm -hmm. like it's not trying to hide it from you. So it's fun. I, I really like it. And you have like these little systems where like your skills talk to you and stuff like that. So you might be in a conversation and your skill will be like, "Hey, you probably shouldn't ask this guy about this thing." And then your other skills yeah. like, like I, there was one thing. Someone was smoking a cigarette and I went and looked at it and I failed a skill check to not want a cigarette. So now every time cigarettes come up, my like uh, skill, not skill in cigarettes, but like my brain is just like, hey, you should get a cigarette right now. That'd be really great. And I have to go through like a whole conversation telling it I don't want a cigarette right now. Hey, hey. So it's, it's cool. I'm enjoying it. Um, I played a bunch of Death Stranding uh, over Thanksgiving. Uh, still not done with it. My buddy Chris finished it. Ugh. Um, because he just wanted to play Fallen Order. So he just hurried up and finished it. Uh, what have you been playing, Ian? Anything good? I saw a suspicious picture on the Subpixel Instagram. Uh, well, I went to Florida. So yeah, how was that? The land of the old. Uh, it's pretty good. They got some nice retirement villages down there. It's true. Um... <clears throat> And then, so I basically wasn't playing anything at all since last stream. You didn't bring your Switchy? No. I mean, it's only like a two-hour flight, and I knew I'd be with my niece and nephew the whole time, and I didn't oh, want to be true. like, you know, the Switch handler. Um, yeah, kids suck. So, just a lot of Picross. And then, uh, for Black Friday, I got a wheel stand racing wheel stand for my racing wheel Ooh. set yeah and uh if you've seen these social media posts lately that's tyler perry's media of course um formula subpixel is coming back i'm excited um yeah me too so i think the first stream is going to be this friday it's going to give me plenty of time to dial in the wheel in the setup but basically i'm going to be playing i racing it's a very intense and I'm excited. I'm excited. What what time on Friday? We'll meet you at the outpost. Um, I'm not sure. Probably when I get home. So I probably start streaming around 5:30 or 6. Sweet. I'll try to. Um, I won't be home, but I will try to tune in. I'll post about it before it happens. But it should be good. Um, yeah, I'm trying to set up a, a stream time for. Uh, I mentioned this while uh, maybe two weeks ago during Mud Runner. My buddy, uh, who has played the first Half-Life game, uh, uh -huh. we were going to have me play Half-Life and him watch me, and I think there was going to be drinking involved. Um, oh, boy. So, yeah, I'm trying to figure out when to set that up. My only problem is the mic situation, 
which I was thinking maybe the next time I visit Ian Gibson, I might borrow our microphone situation. No, absolutely not. Um, because I think I'm going to use that for high racing, actually. Oh. Why don't you just use the Yeti? Well, because there's two of us. I know, I can still Well, yeah, but the, the Yeti's pretty good with two people. Well, um, easy allies. Easy allies, when they started, they had, like, no money, so they just ran a Yeti. Like, everybody gathered around a Yeti for their entire podcast. That's pretty good. And then, when they upgraded to a second Yeti, they... Their group streams were like f a Yeti in front of one couch and then a couch behind that with another Yeti in front of it. <laughs> so they had like literally like eight or nine people. I uh, literally like that you just left. Oh, you're dead now. Left me. Oh, what yeah. Up? What were you doing hanging out back there? Oh, I came all the way back here? Yep. That's some bull crap. You didn't grab the vehicle. I didn't because you drove away without me and pulled me forward. There were another. Oh, that's your own fault. Yeah, so I'm getting some hitching on my side, which is weird because it runs fine, like solid 60, then I hitch. And then I keep hitting tab because I think that was the melee in Halo CE on the PC. Oh, so I'm on a controller and I changed. That's, that's disgusting. Why would you do that? I prefer a controller. I mean, I, I, I hear you for Halo, but at the same time, like the whole cool thing about this is that you get to play these Halo games with the keyboard and mouse. That is not the whole Looks cool like thing. Clear, I mean, I think it is. Me Actually, yeah, it is. It might be. The graphics aren't that big of a deal. I mean, this looks 100,000% better than it did on Xbox 360. Yeah, but it's still about the same as you'd get on the One X. Oh, yeah. I probably wouldn't get 60 on the One X. Okay, I think we're going this way. Yeah, you want to get in? Boss, I'm showing more activity to the east. You're going to run me over, aren't you? Oh, I'm surprised. You know, I've been trying to heal our relationship. Uh, oh, but I really think you're the arbiter of our our hatred. No, arbiter is Halo 2. Uh, Arb oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm very good at driving. I can't go. I forgot driving sucks. Oh, that's cool. Rock. Hi, Alex. Anyone I'm driving? Yeah. Alexander. You're with, Alexander's with Zach right now. That's why they're not with us. That's disgusting. It took me about five seconds there to figure out how to get out of a vehicle. Oh, guess what it is on mouse and keyboard? W. Uh, no, it's a hold <laughs> down E. Which, like, half makes sense? You were attacked by Covenant forces. The Covenant is on reach. I repeat, the Covenant is on reach. The guy sounds so... The Covenant is on reach. The Covenant... Oh, Covenant's on reach. Grab me a bagel on 5th Ave. There's a Covenant in Harvard Yard. We don't leave people behind. In a parking lot in Harvard Yard, there's the Covenant. Where are, we, where are we going? No, no, I'm just jumping. South of your position. Over. We're South of our position. Oh, we're going up the hill. Oh, that way? Yeah, that's good. Um, is this the game that has that mission where you're just kind of like in an elephant going across the map? I, th I think it is. Maybe? You know what I'm talking about? It's either this or Halo 3, but I think it's this. so long we should try to play that one next okay oh, man. Oh. i was so excited when they brought back drop ships i'm ready for uh i need to play some odst i love odst my favorite halo game okay okay here we go okay okay i was playing go. some halo regular halo 3 with uh Aaron the other week. That game still very fun. That's disgusting. Especially when you just play on easy. Okay, 
Okay. Got him. Oops. No, I just... I'm trying to figure out how to switch my... Grenades. It's not hold down G. <clears throat> so do you like this game? I do like this game. I hear a lot of people say this is what... They think this is the best one. It's very I'm good. I'm not sure about that. It's very not Halo. In a sense. Uh, no, I don't know. Like, they changed... They, they added a lot in this game. Like, the power-up armor stuff. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. You know what my main... Let me tell you about my major memory of this game. This game reminds me of sewer water. Ooh, of, like... Water. Like, raw human fecal matter. Yeah? So, basically, when this game came out... We... In... I was living with my parents. And, uh... We had a problem where the basement kept flooding slightly with uh, oh, sewage, sewage. Like, like basically the septic tank would backflow into the into the it's a great house. story for mason optic who's eating right now <clears throat> uh, it's not over mesa um oh, and just... so you would go down to the basement and it would just be this awful awful smell and there would be like you know a centimeter of just Transport. stuff and we're like we don't know what's going on so we like cleaned it up and we tried to clear the pipe and, and it's we thought it was clear and then a couple days later it happened again and we were like okay we don't know what's going on so we're just gonna stop using the toilets or the sink or anything and then we're going to dig out the pipe because basically there's a the sewer sewage thingy goes through some pipes in the basement and then it goes through a wall in the basement to the outside and then to the septic tank so we were like okay so we're gonna we know it's clogging in this pipe that goes through the wall to the outside we don't know what's going on so we were like okay well let's just um oh my god i'm just remembering what we did and we were like okay well let's just there's a there's a an access hole where you can like Whoa. open the sewer pipe on the inside and and like take a look and check it. Oh. And we were like, we were like, we need to open this. And we're like, okay. So we put like gloves on and masks on and all this stuff. And we're oh. like, all right, go ahead and open it. And my dad opens it. And the thing about a septic tank is it has pressure in it. Oh no. <laughs> so just this like fine spray of literal poop water starts <laughs> spraying everywhere. Uh, wait, so where is this pipe all... located? Outside? It's No, th this end of the pipe is inside the house. Like, basically, uh... like, it, I think it was behind the washer and dryer. In the basement. That's gross. Um, so it starts spraying poop water into the house. And the smell was so awful. And the thing is, there wasn't a whole lot of poop water. But the thing, I learned two things. Number one, uh, toilet paper doesn't fully dissolve. It really doesn't. And number two, when dry, when toilet paper dries, it is very hard to get off. <laughs> oh. uh, so no! Oh, I can boot you. Uh, oh, how dare you? I forgave you. So... Anyways, we, we somehow, like, drain enough of this pipe so that we can then stick our face at this inspection port and look down the pipe. And we realize that the end, the other end of the pipe is not lined up. And we realize that over time, at some point, the house shifted and oh. basically uh, cracked that pipe. So it's hard for me to do it without it, but basically, like, if you imagine, if you put make two circles out of your hands and stack them on top of each other, yeah. but now skew them so they're only slightly overlapping, kind of like a Venn diagram. That's basically what it looked like. Oh, it's so gross. It was pretty bad. So then um, we were like, well, now we got to dig that sewage pipe out on the other side. <clears throat> so we start to dig it out. 
And to be clear, this is basically the day that Halo Reach came out. And I already have the game. And I've played it for 30 minutes, but my dad keeps being like, You don't need your help. I need your help. <laughs> That's what my dad sounds like, by the way. I mean, not really, but he's no, like... That's exactly what he sounds like. I need your help. Oh, no. Did you guys leave me behind? Okay. Um, and so, like, I keep having to put the game down to run down there. And we start digging for this pipe, and it was, like, in under the garden. And the thing about the garden was it had that, like, that like black mesh fabric underneath the, the mulch. Uh, so it's yeah. like you try and dig through it, and you're just trying to dig, literally dig through fabric. And finally, I was like, you should just call somebody, because this is not worth it. And so he finally called somebody, and they showed up, and they're like, well, we can do it for this much money. It's like a thousand bucks. Yeah. And he's like, well, when can you get it done? And they're like, we can get it done this afternoon. And my dad was like, uh, uh. And I was like, you just need to pay them, because I'm not digging up this pipe, <laughs> and you're not digging up this pipe. And we don't have any toilets or running water right now, basically. And he was like, okay. Where's the rest of it? But really, I said that not so much because I didn't want to dig up the pipe, but more because I just wanted to go upstairs and play more Halo Reach. Oh, yeah. So that's my, uh, that's literally, every time I think of Halo Reach, it's, it's pretty just, good. Uh, poop water. It's poop water. It was, they were talking about that on, uh, the Bombcast or the Beastcast, they were talking about, uh, like, music or something you remember, or things you remember when you think of a video game. And for me, oh, no. it's, it's both ways, is World of Warcraft and the Straight No Chaser acapella Christmas album. Because when I played World of Warcraft, uh, when I was like in high school and middle school, I would only mm -hmm. play during summer and winter break. There's more. It's the only time I had yeah. time to play. And so during winter break, I would always be listening to Christmas music because I like Christmas music. And uh, it was for some reason one year the Straight No Chaser album. And so all those songs make me think of like leveling my character in World of Warcraft. <laughs> Oh, that goober's got a sword, by the way. Yeah, he does. Uh, Mason Optic has a story. I can't quite read it. Okay, sword guy's dead. You want the sword? Oh, uh, no, I don't want the sword. I'll take the sword. I'll do the story. Since we're on discussing stories, I mentioned a nice hood plumbing one for you from the late 90s. My grand aunt's house developed a problem where any contents flushed on the toilet would proceed to erupt from the bathtub drain. Ugh. So until the plumber could come, we had to pee off the side of the front porch. That's some good stuff. <gasps> what about pooping? Wait a minute. Will, have I told you the toilet robot story? The toilet robot? Yeah, the toilet robot story. What toilet robot? This was either from Twitter or Reddit. It's a true story. It didn't happen to me. But basically, um... This, uh... <clears throat> Excuse me. This uh, motel was having issues. And the guy who was writing the story was the plumber that was called by the motel. And they were basically like, yeah, this this toilet's really badly clogged. It keeps clogging a lot. And we, we just can't undrain it. So he's like, okay. So he comes in with a snake. You know you know what a snake is? Like a yeah, plumbing snake? snake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So for, for, those, for those of you at home who don't know what it is, it's basically just like a coiled metal wire maybe like an inch thick a little bit less than that and you, you kind of just literally run it down the toilet and then you twist it and twist it and then you run it back on the toilet it's supposed to like go down and punch through and grab in some cases whatever is blocking the, the pipe so this guy runs this like he runs like a 50 foot hand snake and he doesn't see any blockage like he does he never feels the blockage it just goes down and comes back up so he gets out like a 150 foot hand snake, nothing. He gets out like a 250 foot powered snake and it goes down, it goes down, it goes down. And then it finally hits something. But it's really weird because he's like backing off and backing forward and he can't like, he can kind of feel the blockage, but not really. And then he finally feels like he's grabbed onto something and he starts pulling it back. And by this time, like the hotel manager and like a couple other employees are just like hanging out near him. And yeah, he's just like explaining is. to them what's going on. Yeah. And he's just like, he's like, you know, I think I got it. I think I got it. And he pulls it out and it's an entire shower curtain. 
an entire shower curtain that he pulls out of this toilet, right? What? At the end of this, this 250 foot. And here's the thing. The hotel room he was in, it had its shower curtain. It was not missing the shower curtain. And so he's like completely puzzled at this point, right? He's like, I don't know what's going on, but that would definitely block a toilet. And I'm just How would that even go out. down a toilet? So then they hear the scream. And then this maid comes running in and she's hysterical and she's crying and she's just like screaming and um, I don't want to hold that. That's all you, buddy. And uh, she's like screaming. So then they're like, what happened? What happened? She starts to explain. She's like, I was in room 307, which is like on the other side of the motel. She's like, and I heard a noise in the bathroom. And I go to the bathroom, and there's just this robot, and it's it's this robot arm, and it's out, coming out of the toilet, and it's slamming into everything in the bathroom, and it comes at me, and I fight it off, and then it grabs the toilet, the shower curtain, and just takes the entire shower curtain <laughs> down the toilet, and disappears. <laughs> and the plumber's like, "Oh no." And he realizes ran the snake through so much of the plumbing that it came out another toilet. Oh and crashed my the gosh! Is that even? I didn't even know that was possible. Oh yeah, especially those powered ones. You know, it'll the shower curtain through. Yeah, and then he was just like, uh, so then I worked on another thirty minutes and I cleared the, the drain somewhere else. But uh... that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's one of my favorite toilet stories. Ah. Uh. So, That's a pretty yeah, good toilet I'm all, story. I'm all full of toilet stories. You got any toilet stories? Um, uh, I really don't have many toilet stories. DBH, be honest. Oh, are we done? No, no. I think we're getting in the vehicle. All right, I I want to ride shotgun because I have a rocket launcher. We're immediately going to die. Airview base has an anti-air battery that will help clear the skies. This is pretty crazy for some... <laughs> it wasn't me. You... <laughs> that was my bad. I was... You're still it, it so heavy balanced. with your rocket. I <laughs> know. Uh, my red rocket. Too big. Uh, hey, yo. Oh my goodness. Look at how flippy these vehicles are. And how bad of a driver I am. <laughs> I forgot how weird they steer, you know? It's like odd. I like it, but I, it's just, it, unless, the first time I play one of these games, I always have to remember that. I'm like, holding this rocket launcher, like, I don't wanna... Yeah, that's a problem. They're like potions in, uh, Skyrim. I wanna save them for something. Hey, do you, do you, do you, do, quote, question, do you like Skyrim? Yeah, I like Skyrim. I don't think it's that good. I, I don't think it's that me. good. I don't think it's some revolutionary game, but I like Skyrim. Yeah. Yeah. I agree I've with you. I've uh, been contemplating uh, playing through Oblivion again. Well. I very much like Oblivion. This is like getting dangerously close to Dwarf Fortress territory. Like, know, you have right? to pick one or the other that you talk about all the time. All right. I love Oblivion. Both. Maybe I'll play through Marvel. I, suppose so. I activated the anti-air gun. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. That's some raw sewage. I, I, I'm having trouble. Well, not trouble, but like the. Some of these, some of our bros, like friendlies, kind of look a lot like big, hefty elites. Yeah, I, I agree. And it's quite frankly annoying. It's quite frankly annoying. Or do you want, you want turret? I'll get on the side. You good? See where this guy takes us. Oh, he's trying to drive us off the side. He's trying of to map. kill us. Did you choose uh, original graphics or updated? Uh, I did updated. 
I'm thinking about switching. I did original. Original still looks pretty good because this was an Xbox 360 game, right? Yeah. Yeah. On man, on. Where you drive this? I was never very impressed by the the rock music in Halo. Yeah, it's okay. Like, like the more thematic music, I'm okay with. Rock music wasn't a big fan. Of. You want that ghost? Oh, this is almost cheating with the mouse. Yeah, this guy's just going. Going at a good pace. I hope that comms array has a working generator. I hope that comms has a working generator. You watch The Expanse? No, you don't. That's right, but you read the books. I read four of the books. Oh, that's right. I forgot about these weird little vehicles. There's, what are they, specters? They're not specters. They're, uh... Spookers? Nope. Uh, no, I think they are specters. Are they specters? I thought the Halo 2 ones were specters. No, aren't those wraiths? No, there's a different Wraiths are the tanks. Uh, we're not going to find out now. Spooksters? Yeah, I spooky think that's Spooky poops? Spooky poops. Pretty sure that's what it is. Spooky to poopers? Sure spooky poops. Yep. Oh, okay, you're going in, right? Okay. Yep. Oh, I thought these were ornaments. They're booties. Booties! Hey, uh, you guys are coming up one weekend this December, right? You trying to make that happen? <clears throat> yeah, I'm thinking uh, the 14th, 15th. Yeah, that's good by us. Uh, I just have to, we have to leave on the Sunday. We have to work Sunday now. Oh, well, you guys want to come down? I can take off that Friday. Yeah, let me double check because I don't know if she. Okay. But I, I'll find out after the stream. Yeah, because I think I think we gotta have some board game time, you know. Yeah, I really want to play. Oh, dude, Twilight Imperium was uh, was out of stock entire Black Friday. Yeah. Yeah, I th I think it's I think they're they're at low printing situation. That's why the price yeah. hasn't dropped. I was recently. so mad because last year eighty dollars. Yeah, like at this point, I'm, I'm willing to pay 100, 120, but it's just, it's not even that's in stock at that price, you know? Yeah. So I think that's the next fine. time I see time. it close, I might buy it. I feel like we should play some sort of RPG. Maybe Fiasco? Actually, Fiasco would be good. Fiasco. Yeah. Minimum safe. Ow! Oh, is that you? Get back to sword base ASAP. Okay. On our way, Commander. Six, oh. let's go. Oh, this guy's what the? just I just dropped a goshog on me. Crazy. <laughs> Get out of me. The rest of your team is inbound, imminent. Yeah, the thing I liked about Reach is that it return uh, not return necessarily, but it was very like gritty Halo. Like, everything's dark. Like there's so much more like grit to the world. It feels like it, they like saw aliens and were like oh let's do way more of that wait but aliens was like the not dark one oh, but aliens was very like gritty lived in world oh are you thinking of aliens or alien I mean alien was too but aliens was more like yeah. marine stuff yeah 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 oh <clears throat> I should probably rewatch those movies, but I wasn't really a fan. Oh man, I love them. I don't think they're bad. I just wasn't crazy about them. Oh, you know what we saw this weekend? We saw yesterday. What? Ford V Ferrari. Oh, how was it? You know what? I know you don't care about these things. Um, no, I want to go definitely, see it. If you're into cars, it's for you. If you're not, it's not for you. I love a good car movie. It's like a hundred percent a car movie. Oh, I'll go see it. Yeah, it's 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 actually I expected it to just be like okay, but it's actually pretty good. And was it's that, a very iconic um, car. Hmm? What was the the one with Thor, Chris, or yeah, Chris Hemsworth in it? Oh, that, that was um. Is that any good? 
It's okay. I forget what it's called. That's that's where it's Nikki Lauda and James Hunt. Okay, I can see the name of it in my brain. Yeah, Rush. Rush. Thank you. I think uh, I have it's it on okay. my Plex server. It's definitely one of those movies where they're more interested in the people than they are the subject, if that makes sense. Like, they show enough of the racing to be like, oh, look, it's racing. But they don't get into the details of it, you know? Is that, is that making sense? Uh, yeah. Right. Oh, I very oh wow. Me too. That was like a double hit. Um, double whammy. The bottom of the that staircase, by the way, are shotguns. Yeah, I, I just grabbed them. Down for okay, I'm going left to try and distract her. One down. Oh, I'm down. But I'm respawning. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, so it's but like Rush is good at telling the story. But it's not good about, like, explaining a little bit about the cars and, like, the state of the sport at the time, if that makes sense. Yeah. Whereas Ford v. Ferrari also tells the story. You can actually, that's probably the the weak part, honestly, is when it's, like, getting a bit too hokey about the story in a way. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. I'm just trying to, like, force the story along. But in terms of, like, describing, like, driving a car... <clears throat> and what it meant for them to develop the car and like, tweaking it. It does a very good job of that, if that yeah. makes sense. So that's why it's it's, a, it's definitely a movie more for car people than it is for, for people just looking for the story of it. Like it still presents the story, it's just- Right, it does both. A lot of great, yeah. But And, and the other thing is it, it's not like, you know how Fast and Furious is supposed to be a car movie, but it's, the way yeah. it presents it is it's just like, look at these cars. Ooh, look, that's a pretty car. Look, it's a pretty car going fast. Look at that pretty car going fast. It's like, it's you the know? difference of uh, someone being like, hey, I changed my oil today and I used oil and I did this. Versus, hey, yeah. I changed my oil today and I used the number two wrench to open up the thing. Use uh, Schmitty's oil from blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah, number three. Like, yeah, like specificity. Exactly. Yeah, like, there's a couple scenes in this movie where he, like, describes a racing line. Or, like, there's descriptions of how he's not just going fast and passing people. He's, like, behind them waiting for the opportune moment so that he doesn't go too slow while he's passing them in a way. You know, he's like, wait, wait for the opportunity, wait for the corner, wait for the corner. Okay, now take him. Yeah. It's and it's like, it's like race craft in a way in that movie. Yeah. And that's... Maggie thought it was boring, a little boring, uh, which is understandable, because if yeah. you're not into that racing car stuff, then it's just like, who cares? <clears throat> I was having flashbacks because this is a multiplayer map. Like, oh, I remember playing it so much. Man. Love a shotgun. I wish I could take credit for all the times I'm shooting you, but really, you just walk in front of me. Oh, I know. I've, I've been well aware of it. I keep I keep hitting melee, and then it lunges me. I'm like, oh, it's probably not. Oh, is, the oh, is that your power? No, oh, you get, like, there's that medium range halo lunge. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. He done died. This is a long mission. Well, we've done. This is our third mission. Right. Wait, did we trigger a new mission? We, we did. Didn't, the, we didn't see a score. We did the driving around one. Well, no, but but it, shouldn't it stop and score us if it's the end of the mission? Uh, I don't think I have scoring on. Oh, so we're just continuous going. Yeah. How did they not die from that grenade that I landed right behind them?
Boom. Blown up. Loaded up. Nice is done and blowed. This? We blew them. We blew them. That's right, and we blew them. Let's paint them. Oh, I forget what those things are called. They're so cool. <clears throat> bye bye! You gonna do a halo jump in the middle of the city? Or not? Pew pew! Pew pew pew! jump. What do they call it in this series? Whoa! Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, I think it's just Someone a jump. Take a picture. Initiate fast jump. Initiate jump to far I think it's location. jump to hyperspace. Jump to location space. Jump to war wormhole. Jump to my wormhole. Oh, you know what? Okay. All right. We good? Actually, good let's jump. Let's jump. Let's let me look up if that elephant mission is in here. That's a fun one. Hello, Rich. Yeah, I can always switch. Elephant. The sector ahead is dark to electronic signal. Mission. Covenant to invoke our instruments. Say it with Zim. Your command wants to know if they're hiding. Haley, he's yours. Do it quiet. I did not do that right. Oh, maybe it's Halo 4. Maybe it's Mammoth? In this game? No, the ma Mammoth. In, uh... Halo 4. Uh, I only played Halo 4 once. No, it can't be Halo 4, because Halo 4 was Xbox One. Yeah. Let's let's go to the list of missions. Recon Bravo to Noble Two, stand by for contact report. Standing you don't you don't remember that mission where you're like you're guiding an elephant through like I a think I know what cannon. you're talking about, but I can't remember if it's Halo Three or. I don't think it's three. Because three introduced the elephant. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at wikis and stuff. I'm looking at sticky wickets over here. Oh, I like this one where you have to fly between different uh, buildings. Uh, is it the package? Package. Your order to destroy sword base. No, I don't think it would be um, that. I think if anything, right. it's tip of the spear. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. Uh, I think yeah. I just saw it. Okay. Hey Google, which Halo mission has you driving an elephant? My apologies, I don't understand. What an idiot. Oh, man, the problem is like I say, hey Google, and everything goes bonkers. Which Halo has the elephant mission? Remember, and then you, don't you have like a bunch of missiles and you're shooting them all the time? Maybe that's not Reach then. Maybe it, maybe I don't. <clears throat> maybe it's Halo Four's campaign. Sounds late. But... You should look up walkthroughs. <laughs> I wasn't making fun of you. I mean, well, ah, oh, thank you, Condor. Halo 3, the elephant's exclusive. ODST, it's there. Are those the only games that appears in? Yeah, I don't think it's an elephant in the other games. I think it's... Oh. Okay, let me look up um, Mammoth. You know what? It may be Halo... But I, I play... I don't... I don't... Well, I don't know. Halo 4. Okay, okay, all right. This is fantastic content, by the way. Very good. Description of Halo Reach missions. I'm a female bird species. You know what I didn't like about Halo Reach was when they were like, Cortana's an alien. Remember that? What? Yeah, like, isn't part of this is that that Cortana was like half bred from 
uh, forerunner tech or something that that the professor found? Oh, I don't remember that at all. Okay, on the tip of the spear. Yeah, it's the one I said. No, no, I'm just I'm going through this mission walkthrough. This doesn't look like it. Hey, what if we just call it for tonight? Wow, really? Yeah, I'm sick. Okay. I guess we'll call it there. What are we doing on Thursday? Uh, Thursday, playing some Mario Maker 2 because we were going to do a thing and then that's not working out. So we're going to play some Mario Maker 2. Coincidentally, there's also an update coming out on Mario Maker 2 on Thursday. So we're going to be playing Mario Maker 2. Should I say it again? Mario Maker 2. We're going to be playing that Thursday, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Because I have to cover my friend at work. Uh, um, and... Folks, we're going to be taking Super Mario Maker 2 levels. So if you guys have that game, feel free to make levels between now and then we'll play it. Or find some levels that you enjoy. Throw them at us and we'll be playing. They'll also be taking requests on the stream, live requests to play your level. I'm excited to see if we'll get any of those new Zelda levels. I know. That looked that they were showing the Zelda and I was like, oh, that's cool. Or not Zelda, the Link. And I was like, oh, that's cool. You can like jump and do this. And then they were like showing all the move sets. I'm like, holy crap. So. Yeah. So basically, the um, they are adding an item to the game called the Master Sword. If you pick it up, you become Link and you can do uh, his attacks, you can do his shield. You can do bombs, you can do uh, bows and arrows, bows and arrows. It's uh, pretty crazy. Wow. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. And you can do like a down thrust, if you know what I mean. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Mason Optic. Thank you, everyone who watched Alexander Zach. Uh, Karen popped in for a second here. Stream Mom, you were here too. Ian, you joined me. Uh, right. Everyone be on the lookout for possibly a server quest coming out tomorrow. Uh, I guess you got to finish that tonight. If not tomorrow, it will be out Thursday. So, and hey, uh, um, completely unpaid endorsement here, but y'all should get Game Pass because that's how we're playing Halo Master Chief Collection yeah, and Halo Pass, Reach. Real good. 15 bucks a month. You can find deals all the time for cheaper than that. I think I, what did, I, think I found it recently for like five bucks a month or something. Yeah, so Game it's Pass. 30 bucks for six months. It's, it's fantastic, guys. Yeah, you got to so get it. Good. So yeah, so many good check games. it out. Keep an eye on our YouTube channel. If you want to know if the thing comes out tomorrow or Thursday, or even Friday, just subscribe on YouTube. It'll tell you. It'll literally tell you. Hey, uh, you know what I need? I need what? some Twitter followers. Yeah, follow Ian so on Twitter. Guys, at Think Gibson. Follow at Will Gibson. on Twitter. At Hunt270. At, Hunt, at Hunt270. You can still donate follow to our Extra Life campaign. Subpixelfilms.com. Yeah. It'll redirect you to our Extra Life page. If you donate there, we will spin the wheel on the next uh, stream. So... Do it. You know, you can tell that uh, we haven't done this in a while because we're just kind of rusty. Yeah, very rusty. I'm rusty in my busty. Ugh. Bye. Okay, bye. bye.